On August 24th, the Pro Football Hall of Fame Seniors Committee named 1951 St. Bonaventure grad Jack Butler one of its two finalists for election to the Hall of Fame next summer. He would be the first Bonaventure player ever to be inducted. At the time of Butler's retirement from the NFL in 1959, his 52 career interceptions ranked second all-time. Believe it or not, there used to be a football stadium right here in between Doyle and Hopkins Halls. And before Jack Butler went on to become a star defensive back with the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 1950s, he was a star on both sides of the ball here at St. Bonaventure. Butler set an ECAC pass receiving record at Bonaventure in 1950 and made the Bonaventure Athletic Hall of Fame in 1970. Not many people today saw Butler play, but those who did remember his playmaking prowess on the gridiron. He was um, a really good tackler. Uh, I mean, he was a sh what they call a sure tackler. Then he is a hard hitter. As a college player, he was one of Bonaventure's uh, little All-Americans, I guess you would call him. Butler made four Pro Bowls, three All-Pro teams, the 1950s NFL All-Decade team, and the Steelers All-Time team. Given that resume, Whelan believes Butler will get his call to the Hall. Usually when they nominate someone as a senior nominee, it's... Um, it's, I think it's kind of a slam dunk they're probably going to get in. As someone who actually saw Bonaventure play football, uh, I think he's going to be, be in there. For SBU-TV, I'm Tyler Diedrich.